And this should be relatively quick. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use variables to set a character name or to allow your player to choose a character. So we're going to start in a new um, Twine window. We're going to start a new story. Um, you can do this in your existing story, clearly, if you wanted to. Um, but I'm going to start in a new story. Um, we'll call this uh, name that character. Um, so we're going to create that game. Um, we have a brand new passage, right? Uh, like we did the last time, I'm going to rename this passage to start. Uh, press OK there. Um, and now we are in our first passage uh, for the game. Um, as I've said in other variable uh, tutorials, uh, we're going to set our variables on our first passage. So we're going to set them here in start. So we're going to do what we would normally do. We're going to start with a parenthetical, right, which calls the function, which starts the function. We're going to use the function set. So we're about to set a variable. In this case, we're going to set a name, right? And you can name the name variable anything you'd like, but because it's a name, we're just going to call it name. So anytime we set a variable, we're going to use the magic uh, dollar sign there, and we're going to call this variable name, right? So we just set the name, and we're going to set the name to, right? Um, and this is where it gets a little fancy, but stupid easy. Um, we're going to set that name to either a prompt like this, right? And then we'll add two quotation marks for our player to fill in. Um, or we're going to set it to a string or a name that is a default like that. So, and then we're going to close that, um, that inter interior um, function, and then we'll close the whole function, right? So that second parenthetical closes this first one. This first parenthetical here closes that parenthetical. So what we're doing in this function here is we are setting the variable name to either a prompt, which will pop open in the game, and I'll show you that in a second, and then the player will put in uh, a name in between those quotes, um, or the default name, which in this case is Brewer. So <clears throat> if we're gonna play this game, right, so we've got that, and then we'll just say, uh, welcome, to the game like that um, and we're going to test from here so let's close this passage we've got our start we're going to test from here and you can now see a prompt pops up with a default name in it there but we can change that name as the player to whatever we want um, so I've changed it to Samuel and when I hit OK, you can see down in the debug uh, window down here that name, the variable, has been set to the string Samuel, right? And now it says welcome to the game. Now, what if we wanted to use that prompt or to use that variable, right? So um, variable is now set to there. So what if we did in this section welcome to the game and what we're going to do is type in the variable name right so welcome to the game name so what we're asking the computer to do there is we're asking the computer to print in this text here the value of that variable name and that is either going to be the default value brewer or whatever the player uh, puts into that space. So I'll show you how that works. Let's close this, right? Um, and we'll test from here. So the game has started, um, right? We have this prompt for a name. We're going to change it to, I guess, Samuel like that. We hit okay. 
and you can see in the background it says welcome to the game. As soon as we hit OK here, it'll add Samuel to that. All right, so welcome to the game, Samuel. Um, and then you can call that variable anytime you want, right? So, um, <clears throat> you, let's see, we'll do new awake in bed to the calling of your name. You hear your mother cry out. And we're just going to type in name there, right? Um, and so we have, you hear your mother cry out the variable. Um, and it will be whatever it is. Again, it'll print out the value that has been set. So. Uh, if we play this, here we'll close that up. If we play this one again, test from here, right? So this time, this time we'll leave it as the default. You can see in the back, um, kind of hidden back here, welcome to the game is blank. Um, and you can hear your mother cry out is still blank. The computer is waiting for this variable to be defined, right? And as soon as you hit OK, it will define that variable and there it is. Welcome to the game, Brewer. You awake in bed to the calling of your name. You hear your mother cry out, Brewer. Um, all right. <clears throat> so very quickly, that's how you would um, change or create a prompt for a name and to name a character using a variable. So anytime in the game that you wanted that to be called, all you, all you have to do is just type name and the value of that will be printed into your story.